Hi everyone, this is JJ. I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day. I do have a couple of announcements before I move into the reading. Like always, all my readings are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Something doesn't fit, do not force it to fit. I um, always encourage everybody to follow their intuition, to trust their own discernment. Uh, with that being said, timestamps, how to book a reading, all of that is always in the description box below. Just a reminder, I am not doing personal readings throughout the month of July. I will be back with personal readings August 1st. You can catch me here or on Patreon or Instagram for collective messages. And I will be doing Reiki circles. Those are the only two that I will be doing during the month of July. So July 3rd and July 17th, those two Reiki circles will be available. With that being said, I have seen that there is a lot of, I want to say an emotional storm going on in the collective. So today's pick a card is going to be a message that you need to hear. Bless you to my son, uh, that you need to hear at this time. I do feel there's also a lot of releasing that I have been picking up. If you don't want to hear about the collective energy and you just want your message, you already know what to do. Click forward to your selected option. But if you do stick around and you do want to hear what's going on in the collective, then stick around. So what we have going on here is there has been and there is a lot of emotional healing. All I keep getting here is healed, healing, healing, like healed, healer. So there is a lot of healing that is going on currently. And I feel that this is on an emotional level, personal growth. And we're always, yes, we're always on this energy. We're always, you know, healing. We're always growing. But I do feel here that this is particularly and we are in cancer season so i wouldn't be surprised if many of us are in our emotions if many of us are going through or weathering out some type of storm now i do feel here there is a lot of emotions that are coming up because there has been stagnant energy for the collective and for many it's like we're wrapping up this energy this ten of wands energy is kind of what i'm picking up for the collective many are you know, in this energy of the void, many don't know which path they want to go. Many are being called to pull back and take a break. Uh, for others, it's this energy of, you know, I'm, I am following the synchronicities, I am following the signs. So, you know, it's going to be different. Some people are just stepping into the void. Other people are just going through this emotional, you know, um, inner turmoil. Others are taking leaps of faith so it's going to be different for everyone but i do see that our emotions are being steered up for many and i do feel that many of us are in this energy where we're wanting to find either words of comfort or maybe just you know those words or that phrase that lets you know like hey you know everything's okay or you're on track or yes you know you're absolutely right you're going on a different path 1101 as i am saying this so if this is you, stick around and I will see you in your selected pile. Bye. Hello, pile number one. If you chose this pile, then this is your reading. Again, this is about cancer, <laughs> cancer season. And if you're weathering out a storm. Okay, so this card just fell. So this is for some of you it could be about your relationships, your love life. It can be about self love as well knowing your worth, knowing your value. And Venus will be going retrograde. So maybe you're already starting to see certain themes here about how do you value yourself? You know, the type of connections that you do attract. Maybe your relationships right now are the main focus for you. Maybe you are feeling or needing guidance around a particular connection whether this be with someone else or just with yourself or maybe even with your guides in the universe i am going to be pulling a card from the hidden worlds oracle and i will be reading it from the the guidebook so let's see at this time take a deep breath ask your guides to give you the clarity that you need at this time to give you that 
that message, those words of comfort that you may need or that you're seeking about a situation that you are currently weathering, that you're currently going through at this time, that you're having a hard time either getting clarity on it or you know you're just don't know what to do right or it just causes a lot of emotion within you so let's have a look we have aurora garden so maybe your name is aurora maybe your name starts with a strong a beginning initiate origin so a sense of coming home a sense of where do i belong a sense of am i in the right place did i make the right decision for some of you being in this energy of being in between worlds, right? I used to fit in here. I used to like this. I used to do this. And now, you know, I don't resonate with that. Or maybe there is also this energy of I know what I need to do. I know what I'm being called to do. I'm just having trouble initiating. I'm just having trouble beginning. I'm just having trouble knowing or deciphering if this is for me. So let's see what the deck or the book has to say. It says, beneath the play of light within the sky, the auroras that fill us with wonder and awe lie in ancient temples and divine ones, intact, emerging only when the conditions align. Then they can only find their way back into the world for a moment. To be glimpsed by those who can see clearly the veils between the worlds. In this sacred place, you are invited to dwell a while to talk of your deep dreams, to hear music that will open your heart, to allow your mind to expand until you feel the constraints of personality giving away to the call of the soul. Within this space, you are encouraged to begin again, to be as a child within the world when you return to have a response that is clear and open and wise in the way an adult has forgotten to be. For when we begin again and when we go back to this very essence of who we are we can then walk in the world and speak the truth perceive what it is know the intent of others and make choices that guide us in the direction of spirit when this card comes to you know that you are being invited to take part in the initiation of this temporary temple this place of light and sound and you will be reminded of who you truly are. You are not only layers of conditioning, a certain personality, gathering of experiences. This is a chance to free yourself of the old aspects of the self, an opportunity to be reborn into the next stage of your life. This next stage will offer you a space beyond that of the physical world, alliances, which are both within and beyond nature, and you will witness marvels of the spirit grow within the space just as the flowers do for you are as glorious as the sky and as eternal as the light itself so pile number one i feel like this is going to be a mix of energies which i was saying in the beginning when i just turned over the card i feel for many of you you're in this energy now and some of you are like why am i going through this like why am i here why am i in this void why do i feel like i am a different person because you are becoming a different person you're becoming someone new and you know your old beliefs things are clashing things are fading away and i feel like your guides are saying allow yourself to stay in this temple right metaphorically speaking to stay in this in between this void energy while you change while you grow also there is this other side of this group where they know what the next stage of their life is but yeah and they're they're doing construction in the background as i said that so i do feel that in some way you're like okay well how do I do this? How do I begin? How do I move in that direction? And so for some of you, it's like you already have clarity when it comes to who you are becoming. What is it that you want to do? And for others, you don't. And they're saying it's okay to be in this energy. It's okay for you to ask yourself all the questions and be like, okay, well, is this for me? Is this not for me? It's okay to start questioning yourself a little bit here. 
love and for some of you you're questioning love or you're needing to connect back with your heart space and be like okay is this what i want is this really what my heart needs and for some of you like i said it is about a you know maybe a home situation a family member maybe it's about your partner maybe it's about a friend it can be many many different things right we have temperance it's like you're having to find a middle path right now this is not the time for you to shake things up this is not the time for you to i feel like this is the time for you to take it one step at a time because i do feel like you being in this temple you are healing yourself you're healing your heart as well here Pile number one. I feel for some of you, you might be kind of questioning, do I reconcile for some of you? Do I make this work? Is this something that I want? Is this something that that will be healing for me? I feel like this is the place where you get to ask your guides these questions and meditate. And through this quietness, this stillness, you're going to be able to get the answers that you're so seeking. Like That you're like, I need them. Your guides are saying, just connect with us. spiritual partnership i feel like for many of you you are strengthening your connection to spirit through this experience through you being in the void through you listening to your heart this is you co-creating with spirit and trusting spirit and trusting yourself talisman it's like you're being given a key you're being given a key But I feel like it's like, okay, yes, I have the key, but do I want to go in kind of thing? Like, is this for me? And for some of you, you, you need to be in the space in order for you to realize that you do have the key, that you've always had the key. But again, with temperance being here, it's like your guides are saying, take it one step at a time. 11, 11, my time. So that might be significant for some of you. That might be your sign, like, yes, this is your reading. Uh, but I do see here that there is a shift in how you're also connecting with your guides. For some of you, I feel like you're getting messages in a new way now. And your guides are saying, take your time to get to know us. Take your time to get to know this new version of yourself. Again, they keep saying one step at a time. You don't need to rush through this. Because I feel like through this void, you are alchemizing a lot of things here. You're transmuting a lot with this temperance card. Harmony. Harmony is key here. And for many of you, you are healing. And the key here is, for some of you, you're, you've been asking spirit, like, how come I haven't attracted that spiritual partnership that I want? How come, um, you know, I want to make this work and it hasn't worked? Your guys are saying the key here is to heal your heart because the moment that you do you're going to attract that spiritual partnership and also in knowing yourself and knowing your own heart knowing who you are is how you're going to attract that which you want pile number one but that is what i have for you take care of yourself stay safe sorry for all the distractions bye Hello, pile number two. I hope that you guys are doing great. I will be pulling a card from the Hidden World Oracle. Just to kind of start the reading, see what comes through, see what I channel. At this time, as I am shuffling the cards, I do want you to take a deep breath. I want you to ask your guides to give you that answer, that clarity, that message that you need to help you see through the storm that you're weathering to help you find that piece of information that you need at this time that is not allowing you to see clearly to give you those words that you need to maybe find hope in in your situation or just to remind you that you're on the right path we have card number one the healing temple that is so interesting because everybody is getting this energy pile number one also got this energy very similar okay so pile two what i'm getting 
like right off the bat here is this energy of the temple is uh, to me the temple stands for your sacred space whether this be your house a room in your house maybe your car i always like to say that uh, maybe it's you know it's that book maybe it's that little nook you know where you go where you kind of are able to maybe it's that bench and that in that favorite park that you love to go to maybe it's that seat and that you know in that coffee place whatever that may look like for you maybe it's a place in your mind where you're able to just be and take a deep breath I feel like right now pile number two is you're being called to restore your energy to come back into balance because I do feel here pile number two that you guys have been going through a lot you guys have been closing out things you guys have been removing yourselves from people from maybe even uh, positions jobs maybe even family members like i see you've been doing the work and it hasn't been easy and i feel for many of you maybe you are dealing with something health wise because we do have cure here so i don't know if you are going through something related to your health your guides are saying you need to take a break you need to restore your health maybe go to your doctor maybe you know get those checkups maybe get a second opinion that's for someone again always listen to your healthcare professional i am not a healthcare i'm just giving the messages that i'm getting i also feel for some of you maybe you're looking for a safe place maybe you're looking for safety in some way whether this be a person where you can go and be vulnerable and maybe just express those emotions, those fears that you have. Or maybe it's, it's actually something physical, you know, where you're needing safety, where you're needing a safe place to call home, a shelter. <sighs> okay, I'm going to read from the guidebook. Your guides are saying as well, you know, temples are a place where you can return to over and over and over again for you to heal. This card marks the beginning of a journey into healing your own physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual healing. This healing adventure takes place because of a chance meeting where you are introduced to a person, a place, or a philosophy that can create a pathway for you to immerse yourself in the restorative process before you. This healing has links to the ancient methods used in the temples of long ago, where light and sound were interwoven within pure spaces to rework and reweave these structures within the body and soul. This ancient mythology is slowly being fed into our world so for some of you you're being called to maybe take a social media break maybe take a break from your work maybe you know take those ptos those um those hours from work maybe it's about also for some there's something about health here because i am seeing a hospital so i don't know for some of you Maybe you work in hospitals and this is draining and you're like, I need to take a break. Or maybe there's something going on with health. I did get that earlier. <clears throat> it says your own personal healing journey is beginning and you will be met, guided and cared for as you move through this process. There is a place of great safety and calm for you to return to. And you will respond to the care, the energy. My voice is raspy. So what I do want to say here, pile number two, is that maybe it was very hard for you to accept that you needed you, you needed the safe place or that you needed this healing. Or maybe this is something that feels inauthentic to you, right? Putting myself first. Maybe you feel like it's selfish. The vibration here is loving and pure, focused and high, and you will respond to the care, the energy, and the complete immersion into a healing environment. But first, you must enter. The guardian of the temple has opened their arms to welcome you. The choice is yours. For some of you, I feel like you do. You have a choice. 
you have a choice either to heal this could be with the person maybe there's someone who's coming in who is this voice of reason uh your conscious if you, your consciousness if you will right think of jiminy cricket it's kind of like someone is coming in and letting you know like this needs to be healed like this is something we got to look at and maybe you are the one taking these choices making these choices you know whether it is that you're taking care of your health and you're like i've been prolonging this for for a long time or whether this is i i've been prolonging not taking my hours and i need to rest you know take care of my physical health my mental health my emotional health but again your guides are saying this is your choice you can choose to continue doing or ignoring what you have been ignoring or you can actually choose to do the work but it always comes down to your choice and you're going to be safe there consciousness in the safe place there's going to be a shift in consciousness here for you three of wands the three of wands is a card yes about your boats coming in but at the same time we always see this person depicted at the at the edge of either a overseeing the beach it, because it talks about a new world view in a way of your own world right it's a new vision for yourself and so i feel like there's something here that you're doing and that's why being in this temple energy will allow you to not only take care of yourself mentally spiritually emotionally but it will allow you also to gain a new perspective and how you receive. I feel for many of you, you have a hard time receiving. For some of you, this is very specific. Some of you are being put in a situation. Our spirit is, they're not putting you there. They're giving you, the, they corrected me. They're like, we're giving them the opportunity to see if they will choose to enter this temple. This might, might look something like, for example, you know, um, I like your boss coming in telling you, you know what, you have set amount of hours here that you need to take vacation hours and you have that choice. Do I take that vacation hour or do I take a break from social media? Do I take a break from my business? Will I be okay? But I feel like it's because your guides are trying to teach you to receive. I feel for some of you, you have a hard time receiving. You have a hard time receiving. And maybe it's because you're always looking for safety. You're like, well, nobody takes care of my safety. I take care of my own kind of thing. You've been in survival mode for too long. And so I feel like you guys are saying you have this option now. 1122. You have this option now to do things differently. But it's up to you. Because, you know, waves, they come and they go. And this woman here, she's at the edge overseeing the ocean and she's waiting for her wave to come in but it's like your guides are saying okay while your wave comes in are you going to take care of yourself are you going to nourish yourself are you going to heal how productive are you when it comes to taking care of you in that period of waiting because again and i always say this there is no point in rushing to the bus stop if we know that the bus arrives in 45 minutes new beginnings another one because there will be one but i feel like it's veiled to you right now it's veiled like you cannot see this and i feel like it's because there's something here that your guides i feel like are calling your attention elsewhere eight and three is eleven another one 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 i feel like you're going through this ascension period and it's like the way you've been doing things is no longer working your new beginning is there it's gonna be there nobody's taking it away from you your guides are saying and you taking care of yourself and putting putting yourself as a priority is not going to, you know, you're not going to miss your chance is what I'm getting here. For some of you, maybe you're healing from something that was veiled from you or something that was hidden from you. But I also feel like this is an aspect of you.
also by you going within you're going to be able to see your own masks there's something here for some of you it's also looking like an alter state of it's like you're like a, a rehearsal of some kind it's like you're you're trying out a different a different mask and I feel like your guides are saying again but you got to take care of yourself because if you're not if you're not in optimal health then you you know you won't have the energy to ride this wave when it comes I want to pull one card here for you guys to the veil just clarify the veil card here the knight of cups yeah for some of you for some of you there is mm, 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 mm. okay I feel like the rose colored glasses are coming off with the death card being at the bottom and the knight of cups coming out as the clarifying card here about something maybe about a lover maybe about there's something here and your guides are not revealing too much because every time i try to clarify it's another knight so i don't know if this person is a knight in your life oh, for some of you there's okay another message here there's a wish being granted and that's why your guides are saying you have to take care of yourself that's why they're giving you this opportunity because what is coming in for you this new beginning is your wish come true but they want you to be at your best when it comes to your mental your physical and emotional health but that is what i have for you take care of yourself for some of you, your new beginning is you know maybe you've been wanting to date someone maybe you've been wanting to you know meet someone that is there. But that is what I have for you, pile number two. Bye. Hello, pile number three. I hope you guys are doing well. I am shuffling behind camera The Hidden World Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. At this time, I do want you to take a deep breath and invite your guides in. Ask them for the message. Ask them to please assist you to bring forth the message that you need to hear at this time to help you weather out the storm that you're going through, to help you find the clarity that you're looking for, or maybe just to, to give you the words that you need to hear at this time. Pile number three. Wow. Water, spirit, emotions, memory, and life force. Number 43. A lot of water. So for many of you, you are going through something emotional at this time. It could be cancer season that is having you like that. I feel like you are very much also coming into balance with your masculine and feminine energies. For some of you, you're coming from pile number one, just because at the bottom we do have the same card that we got at pile one. Okay, pile number three. Before I read from the guidebook, this is the deck right here, if you guys are curious about it. Uh, so what I'm getting here before I look at the book, there's big decisions that are needing, that you are either needing to make right now or you're soon about to make big decisions in your life and this has to do with your future plans this has to do with where it is that you want to go what is it that you want to be known for what is it that you want to pursue there are faded meetings coming in pile number three faded conversations coming in that i feel like big decisions will be made based on the conversations that we have this could also be conversations that you will have with your guides as well i feel like a lot of synchronicities synchronicities will lead the path for you pile number three a lot of healing a lot of healing coming in for you guys but i do feel like a lot of memories a lot of things from the past 
are coming up for you to transmute to balance this energy for you to heal this energy because i do feel that everything that you're currently going through is to help you restore this life force energy your chi energy is what i'm getting because the lily paths here and the lotus trying to bloom i feel like it there's a sense of feeling like i've been underwater for a while And I feel for some of you, you're about to emerge out of the water and you're going to see the growth that has taken place. You're going to see that this pond has beautiful flowers, beautiful grass growing on it, beautiful, you know, even living things in it like frogs and these beautiful lotuses also. These are looking like shattered, shattered, um, like memories. That's what it feels like. But let's see what the book has to say here. Number 43, which is a seven. I feel like for many of you, you are also asking big questions. I feel like this is a theme for the collective, but you guys are going through that. I feel like you guys, the decisions that you will be making, you're going to be making them from emotional intelligence. Again, with that masculine and feminine. I feel like before you used to make more of a masculine decision making. Like for example, you used to be very cerebral about your decisions. You used to be very matter of fact. You used to be very like, I need to see the facts. I need to see the proof that this is going to work. Whereas now you're going to move into decision making from this empress energy, from this divine feminine energy. You might be part of the twin flame collective as well because we do have the four and the three. And again, making decisions from the divine feminine energy is about trusting. It's about having hope. It's about using creativity. It's about using your intuition. So you can kind of see how this can you know, feel very different. So let's see what this card says. It says, Water is an element which holds history, memories, emotions, and the subtle mysteries of the psyche. With this spirit, you are asked to consider your own emotions, your own memories, and to connect more deeply with the water in your life, and to make it sacred and begin to commune with the spirits within the water so you can benefit from its intelligence and emotional wisdom. This spirit gazes at you, waiting your acknowledgement. So there's something there in the psyche. There's a memory there that wants to be looked at, that wants to be integrated. And it says, awaiting you to accept the vitality and necessity of emotional balance, of healing memory, of understanding that we what we hold will emanate ask yourself now for you two are a being of water what do i hold what am i keeping within is it vital is it life-giving and what can i learn to move what is causing me to stay stagnant and to feel unclean or unclear. Water is the life force that you are most made up of. And the spirit of water lives too within you. Within your blood, your tears, every memory and every emotion. Let your water energy be that of healing, of vibrational vitality, of growth and love, of a kind of honor. Worship the spirit of water, not as an idol, but as a sacred source of life. Make sure you yourself are flowing as honest and as clear as water. So again, I feel like pile number three. I feel like right now you might be going through a period of your life where you are looking at your your memories. It's like you're unpacking all these memories and you're just like, I don't need this or I need to heal this. There were certain things that we're there we're making you stuck so if you feel like why are the, all these emotions coming up or why is this person coming up or you know 
I feel like I need to talk to somebody about this. Or in my dream state, yes, it's because your psyche is trying to tell you something. They're trying to reveal to you what it is that is keeping you stuck. And also, what is it that you're holding on to? And is it paying off? Is it giving life? And if it's not giving life, then we need to let it go. Rejection. For some of you, there's a big wound of rejection here that you needed to look at. And I feel like this might have spilled over in many other areas of your life. And I feel like before, it wasn't clear to you. And for some of you, it did spill over your career, your stability. It was something that I feel like at some point, it blinded you. It blinded you in some way where, see, with rejection, either we can self-sabotage because we're like, well, I, before I get rejected, I got to run kind of thing. Or we fall also in this in this pattern of staying in a situation that keeps reflecting to us that energy and that wound of rejection. But for some of you, maybe this is the video where you didn't know what what was that emotion. And maybe now you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. It is rejection. Where in your life did you feel rejected? Where is this coming from? Shadow work around that. Okay, because I feel like the moment that you work through that, it will restore that life force energy within you because there's a lot of emotions around that here. Ace of Wands. It could have been rejection and creative projects and, you know, passionate pursuits uh, with friends, with opportunities, with work. It can be many things. Relationship change. For some of you, maybe you cut ties with someone that made you feel rejected. I feel like for some of you, you used to attract this energy. And I feel like it's because it needed to be mirrored back to you for you to acknowledge and start healing it. I feel like your guides want you to know if you're already doing this work. Your guides want you to know that your relationships are going to change. The relationship with yourself is going to change. The relationship with your job, with your passions, with your creative ideas, with your creative pursuits are going to change. And you're going to be in this Ace of Wands energy. Because here I feel like your guides are saying as long as you don't reject yourself, you're going to be fine. Yeah, growth. Pile number... Pile number three, maybe you felt rejected, maybe even through your stuff, you know, especially if you're like at work, I've applied over here or I, I've done this and I feel like it's not paying off. So there's this like wound of rejection there that your guides are saying, we need to address this. How can, I'm going to pull some cards here. How can pile, reminding yourself that you are the empress and for some of you, it played out in your relationships for sure. Um. You have to remind yourself that you are the queen of wands, that you're the empress, that you attract everything that you need, that you are an amazing co-creator. Start focusing on that connection with yourself. Don't reject your growth. Don't reject your shadow work. Do the work. Because I feel like this is something that always kept you spiraling and spiraling, this wound of rejection here. But give me one card. How can they... For some of you, it even manifested in your friendships as well. Give me one card here. How can they start working on this wound of rejection? Maybe through seeing a, you know, a coach, a, a therapist, maybe a priest or, you know, whomever you look to for guidance. Because we need to get out of this Eight of Swords. Because this is this wound here is in your subconscious. So she's looking in the mirror. And in the mirror, she seems tied. Because this, this energy here has kept you here. And this energy there. Your thoughts. Hold on. I want to pull something here. Because I feel like... Oh, no. Okay. I got it. Because I know this... This little book here has a 
want to read the little guidebook here. Okay. It says, try to reframe the pain of rejection and consider that whatever rejected you wasn't meant to be a part of your life at this time, whether this be a person, a job, or something else. Some even say that rejection is God's protection. Yes. So maybe rephrasing this, right? CBT, cognitive behavioral uh, therapy, or maybe even just rephrasing the way you're looking at something, changing that perspective, the narrative around that. So even though it may really hurt right now, know that something better is waiting for you. Trust that whatever it is meant for you, it's on its way. So again, you know, maybe this is something that you just got rejected recently. And your guides are saying, you know, this is going to help you grow, even though you might not see it this way right now. But I feel like in the long run, this situation would have kept you in this Eight of Swords energy. And your guides are saying we need to heal that. We need to heal that because there is so much success. There is so much. And I say that because at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Six of Wands. But also validation needs to come from within. Always. Pile number three. But that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye.